this is my theory of how Stan Mares got his uh, buggy to run off of the water process. First, he has his gas mixture chamber right here where he has the water, the ionized gas, and the non-combustible gases. Um, the first thing I noticed when I was looking at this is the notches between the chambers are different sizes. The one for the water is small. Then the next one for the ionized gases is a little bit larger and then the next one is even larger than that. Basically what this tells me is that he limits the amount of water that flows in through the mixture, limits the amount of ionized gas that flows in, and um, limits the amount of non-combustible gases. It's kind of a process of, you know, having exact measurements come out the way that they're supposed to to make the whole process work correctly. Uh, another thought that I had is the water, how, how he has that water figure 47. Um, I don't necessarily believe that that's water. I feel that this is steam. If you look at his car that he had and the, ga the, the main water tank it's actually a steam generator. And then what I believe he did is he ran the steam through the tubes and it mixed in this chamber right here which mixes with the ionized gases and non-combustible gases. He then injects that into the spark plug fuel injector um, which I believe is a high voltage injector. And the reason I say that is I believe what he had is a plasma spark. Um, and that's how the process worked. And Stan hints at this a lot as far as using high voltage in his system. So basically what I'm saying is it's the fuel injector in and of itself that is creating the breakdown of the hydrogen and oxygen in the water through a plasma reaction um, along with the ionized gases and non-combustible gases. And through the whole process, steam, from what I understand, when it burns, it increases its size, basically 1800 times its size. Um, and if that was the case, when it, when it is uh, put into that spark, uh, the high voltage spark, that would cause um, the water to expand into a steam, which expands 1800 times, I'm sorry, the steam would expand even more um, as it's combusting and uh, separating into the hydrogen and oxygen 1800 times from what it originally was. Uh, steam in and of itself already holds high amounts um, of volume for what it is and even um, the calories for steam is much larger than calories in in the liquid state for the water and so if you have have that amount of steam basically expanding again 1800 times its size. First it expands from solid state water exp going into a vapor basically expands 18 times, 1800 times from what it is and then when it's a steam it does it again when it's combusted. Basically when, it, when it's at that point where it ignites again it expands again. And so I feel that the, the uh, whole process, all three right here, the water, the ionized gases, and the non-combustible gases injected into this spark gap, this high voltage spark gap, creates enough of an explosion. Um, you can kind of say it would be a, an expansion process of everything combined that pushes the piston. And I think that this is how he did it. I really, I really believe so. Um, so if anybody else has ideas out there as to, uh, you know, how this worked, please, please let me know. And also give me your input on what you feel uh, I just described here. Tell me if it makes sense. If not, I can describe it a little bit better. Um, I can put some notations in the video and stuff to make it a little bit clearer. But the gases, I think the water is a steam. I don't think it's an actual water. I could be wrong because... Uh, water can also burn in a spark gap that's a high voltage spark gap so it could be a solid state water basically a liquid state sorry um, expanding and then combusting and expanding again 
So a bit like breaking down and expanding again, that's possible too, but I don't think so. I think it's a steam and it had to be a steam in order for it to be to push everything through, including all the gases, um, into the spark gap like it needed to. So I think that this is how we did it. So give me your input and thanks for watching. See you bye.